Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sukhair Palace today the Minister of the Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. Present were His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King praised the tremendous efforts of the Minister and all affiliates of the Interior Ministry, expressing his appreciation for their patriotism in serving Bahrain citizens and residents. He hailed the high morale, professionalism and discipline they had displayed in performing their duties, protecting national games, unity, security and safety. He wished the security personnel who were wounded on duty in the terrorist attack that targeted them in Dare village a speedy recovery. The King voiced his constant support for the Interior Ministry, based on his concern to raise its efficiency and undertaking its national responsibilities. His Majesty expressed appreciation for citizens' honourable stances and solidarity against acts of terrorism and instigators, which reflects both the people's awareness and national unity. He confirmed zero tolerance for anyone inciting terrorism or trying to harm unity by terrorising the people, which he said falls in line with the law and the will of the public to reject terrorism through the recommendations approved by the National Assembly. His Majesty the King pledged that Bahrain will remain an oasis of security and stability. He also asked the Interior Minister to convey his greetings and appreciation to all Ministry affiliates, wishing them further success in performing their duties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Al Ghudabiyah Palace today a number of senior state officials, members of the Shura and Representatives Councils, scholars, preachers, intellectuals, media personnel and scores of citizens. His Royal Highness noted that His Majesty the King has made great achievements for Bahrain and its people and that thanks to his leadership, Bahrain has always enjoyed security and stability. He added that terrorism would never sabotage Bahrain's image and stressed that the Kingdom would continue its development process with the backing of the people and their firm stance against sedition. He said that those trying to harm Bahrain had failed, thus marking success for the people of Bahrain in all cities and villages who stood against conspiratorial calls. He urged them to continue along this path and further strengthen national unity. His Royal Highness expressed sincere thanks to the people and government of Bahrain who were able to thwart the malicious scheme that targeted the country, adding that the people had become sufficiently aware to recognise plans aimed at harming the country. He said that the people cannot be deceived and highlighted the stance of people in villages who rejected and isolated the instigators, playing their part in protecting security and stability. His Royal Highness underscored the government's resolve to confront terrorism, expressing surprise that some citizens were trying to harm his country's gains and achievements and hoping that they will return to the righteous path. He said the government had been forced to take charge since some leaders had abandoned their responsibility and turned to incitement instead of guidance, a move which caused the government to adopt a community role in order to save the people from violence. He also expressed surprise that some organisations had remained silent over the involvement of children in violence and systematic terrorism in Bahrain, which he said raised many question marks about their work. He affirmed that Bahrain has the support of its people and friends who comprehend the magnitude of the challenge facing the kingdom. He thanked those who preserve security and stability with unity. He also called for vigilance regarding regional developments, stressing that the law would be strictly enforced against any threat to the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister pledged to continue efforts to meet the aspirations of the people through full implementation of the National Assembly's recommendations. He said efforts to advance development led by His Majesty the King must be increased and economic growth must be further developed. He hailed the role of journalists and media personnel in defending their country with their pens in order to enlighten public awareness about the threats facing Bahrain and its security. The audience expressed pride in His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's steps to reassure citizens and reinforce their confidence in the government's ability to deal with terrorism. They also praised the government's wise and successful leadership in foiling all malicious plots aimed at dividing society.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Al Ghudabiyah Palace a number of royal family members who expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. They expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's noble sentiments in offering condolences on the demise of Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Mohammed al Khalifa. His Royal Highness said that Bahraini society is one family and highlighted the solid social unity, love and cohesion amongst the people of Bahrain. He also affirmed the constant communication that takes place amongst families of Bahraini society in both happy and sad occasions, based on their religious and noble traditions. For their part, the family of Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa sincerely thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his noble sentiments, noting His Royal Highness's concern to support everyone upon all occasions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Al Ghudabir Palace the Japanese ambassador to the kingdom, Shigeki Sumi, who conveyed the greetings of the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and his keenness to visit the kingdom. His Royal Highness asserted that Bahrain highly values the forthcoming visit of the Japanese Prime Minister to Bahrain, expressing confidence that it will bolster bilateral ties and enhance joint cooperation, especially in the economic sector. His Royal Highness also praised the advanced level of cooperation between Bahrain and Japan, which is steadily growing in various fields, and which was bolstered by the historic visits of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown, Crown Prince to Japan. His Royal Highness reviewed with the Japanese envoy existing bilateral relations and ways to strengthen them. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa held his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace today. His Royal Highness welcomed a broad cross-section of Bahraini society, with guests including members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the House of Representatives and the Shura Council, members of several municipal councils, prominent religious figures, academics, community leaders, journalists and several diplomats serving in the Kingdom. The audience praised the weekly event and His Royal Highness's keen engagement with citizens, which follows in the steps of his fathers and forefathers by continuing a commitment to Bahrain's values, traditions, social fabric and national identity. The attendees also commended His Royal Highness's efforts to reinforce the Kingdom's sustainable development in order to achieve further progress and prosperity within the framework of the reforms led by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and continued government efforts to deliver higher levels of services.
Under the auspices of the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the foundation stone for the late His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa Mosque was laid in Awali this morning. Present were ministers, religious figures and scores of citizens. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs said the project was scheduled for completion within 24 months. He extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and his wise government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, for their continued support of such projects. He also noted the virtue of the late Sheikh Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the former ruler of Bahrain, and thanked the Royal Family Council for naming the project after him. He stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to promote religious values and Islamic morality and to support mosques and places of worship. The Director General of the Royal Family Council noted that the mosque will be equipped with the latest technology and is designed to accommodate up to 4,600 worshippers and includes a public library, centres for memorisation of the Holy Quran and reception halls. When complete, the mosque will be the largest Islamic building in the Southern Governorate and will cover an area of 30,000 square metres. The Minister of Culture, Sheikh Amey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, last night inaugurated Nakul City as part of Manama, capital of Arab Tourism 2013, at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. Present were state officials, diplomats, families and tourists. The minister said in a statement that the Nakul City activities and events will continue every day during the Bahrain Summer Festival.